Hello and welcome. Now, you probably would have seen or heard that there's this new infinite legendary chest exploit going around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the way I'm doing it, which is very different to how other people are doing it. The main way other people are doing it on YouTube at the moment is they're sending they're sending all the gear to their ship. And after you do this a couple of times, you end up with way too much stuff you'll never ever need. You can sell some of it, but you'll just have so much stuff. You become encumbered. Your ship gets way too full. And it's a really inefficient way because you'll have to take those items out, drop them, and there's no quick and easy method to drop all that stuff from your ship once it's on there. Basically, this way just doesn't get you encumbered. And I think overall, it's the most efficient way because you don't have to drop all these useless items that you get from doing it, from doing this exploit. Now, to do this exploit, we're going to need some resources. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to head over to Alpha Centauri. Then we want to land at the New Atlantis District. This is where your ship lands when you first start in the game. And then from the landing pad, we want to walk all the way over to, to the Jameson Mercantile shop. And then from this shop, we're going to talk to this lady and we are going to purchase adhesive because you always need adhesive. <laughs> no, you don't actually need that for this. But what you do need is you need the polymer, buy all of that. And you'll need the titanium and buy all of that. Now, if you've already got plenty of this stuff, you don't need to, you can skip this step. You don't need to do this. But you probably want quite a bit of polymer and titanium because the more you have, the easier and more efficient this process is. So I suggest after you've purchased this first lot, I would run over to these seats, sit down for 24 hours. And after that's done, go over to the shop again and just repeat that process. Buy the polymer and titanium. Okay, so once you've got all that stuff, you're going to head over to a level 75 planet. Now, the most accessible level 75 planet for most people is going to be Masanda, which is located more further to the right. Now you can really go to a moon or planet, doesn't really matter. So you need to find somewhere that planet or moon that you can build on. You just want to pick somewhere where you can build your outpost. Now keep in mind, depending on your outpost perk level, you can't build outpost on hazardous planets. Typically moons are a good choice because you should be able to build on those straight away. So you can pick anywhere in Masanda. That's to your preference. But for me, I'm looking for somewhere super flat and easy visibility. So I'm going to head over to somewhere different. I'm going to jump over to a place that is a little less accessible because you'll need at least a ship with 25 light year jump capacity. And that is Fermi. So I'm heading over Fermi, but you can go to any level 75 system. Okay, so once you're on your level 75 planet moon, we want to build an outpost. Now, if you can, you're looking for somewhere flat, like you can see I've done here. We're going to build an outpost, just like you normally would. Yeah, and then we want to go and start building the weapon cases and chests. Now, now, important thing to note. So the weapon cases, there's three different ones. And depending which weapons you're after, will determine which case you want to use. Now, you can build all the different types, but it's easy just to stick to one type and do it in a straight line. But this is just going to be example. So in this example, I'm just going to show you the process with all three different weapon cases. So the small case, that will give you pistols and small arms. Then you'll have the big chest, that will give you heavy weapons. And then you'll have the sort of the medium looking case. And that will give you your shotguns, assault rifles. And that's sort of how it's broken up. So once you have built these all these chests, you want to save the game. Now I have quick save, hot keyed, and I believe it might be F7 or 8 for you guys, but check that, make sure but check what button it is. I suggest just having it as a hotkey makes it really easier. For controllers, just make sure you go into your menu, you save your game right here. Then you just want to reload that game. The game tricks itself and thinks that these are all lootable chests that you didn't build. And that's why when you go to open them now, there'll be guns and items. Now I've been mucking around with this pretty much all day. So what I can tell you is that the legendary drops are extremely rare, even on a very hard, and being on a level 75 planet. Where my process differs from most of the other ones you'll see online. So where my process differs from a lot of the stuff online is I don't want all this crap. Most of these weapons are absolutely useless to me. I'm only really looking for the legendaries and they drop very, very rarely. So we're pretty much just trying to mine legendaries. And this honestly does take a long time to get anywhere. And it seems to be very limited in what you tend to get so again, a lot of people have been hyping this up, but it's honestly not that fantastic, at least in my experience after doing this for hours. But it does give you some legendaries, so it's still worthwhile trying. And if you're low level, this is going to be fantastic because it'll bump up all your gear to advanced 
to advance whites straight away. But what I like to do is once I've opened all my chest, I don't want to keep all this stuff because you end up being heavily encumbered. Your ship gets full really quickly and it's a lot of useless stuff with where I'm at in the game. So to get around this, we're going to go up to the outpost. We're going to save the game. Then we're going to reload the game. Then we're going to remove the outpost. And you can see here, all the guns just drop to the gun. All the guns drop to the ground. So they don't actually get transported to our ship or anything. They just sit there. And then after that, we can repeat this process. We can build an outpost, build the chest, save, load. Check all the chests. We get something like, awesome. If we don't, we repeat the process. We're going up to the outpost, saving, reloading, removing the outpost, and then bing, bada, boom. So this is probably the best way to do it, I think, because you don't get encumbered. You don't have to go into your ship, drop all these items you don't want, and it becomes very messy. And yeah, just going over the key points to help improve your legendary drops. You want this on very hard. You want to be on a level 75 planet or moon. Doesn't matter. It's the same. I've tested this on a moon or planet. The drops are the same. And just note this will take some time. If you are looking for some specific legendaries, it does seem to be very limited in what you can get. So just keep that in mind. People are overhyping this without really testing it. But it is worth trying. You will get a lot of ammo and other things if you're interested in that. But yeah, I just wanted to lay it out for you how I've been doing it and what my real thoughts are. If you did get anything out of this, please let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Peace.